Tayo has an internal plan to better its overall fuel economy numbers by 25% between 2014 and 2020, and it has been working toward that target with numerous new green-focused models. Following the release of the Nero Hybrid crossover, the automakers dedicated Echo model, and amid rumors of an all-electric version of the Stinger Sports sedan, Kia has now brought forth a plug-in hybrid version of the Nero crossover. The Feb made its debut at the Geneva Auto Show alongside the cute Picanto City car and a wagonized Optima plug-in hybrid, neither of which is coming to the United States. The America-bound Nero Feb should bolster driving range for one of the few available hybrid crossover SUVs. The Bass Nero uses a 1.6-liter four-cylinder paired to a permanent magnet synchronous AC electric motor slash generator powered by 1.6 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery pack. The plug-in uses the same setup but ramps up energy capacity with an 8.9 kilowatt-hour battery pack mounted below the rear seats and the cargo floor. The company released no horsepower, torque or total fuel economy numbers but claim that the plug-in Nero can deliver up to 34 pure electric miles of range on a full charge. For the mileage-obsessed, Kia offers an Echo Driving Assistance system with coasting and predictive energy guide features. Using information from the GPS Link Navigation System, it coaches drivers on when to brake, coast, and use road topography to best consume or preserve energy. Regenerative braking converts some kinetic energy into electricity for the battery pack, while location mapping in the infotainment system can usher drivers to the nearest charging station should they need to charge on a longer trip. And for those who are willing to surrender some fuel economy for practicality, there will also be a towing package option, which gives the Nero plug-in hybrid up to 2,866 pounds of towing capacity. We doubt this package will make it to the U.S. at all, but if it does, expect a much lower rating here.